my guitar, I've got my wine Where we can go As you can see, we've stepped up our operation here at Road to Vino a little bit. G'day. G'day. Reason being, after we cut the cameras, we were chatting with Tomo. Good bloke, eh? Great guy, great guy. Cigarette smoking, Beers, beer drinking. He's great. great wine maker. Yeah. Um, and we're saying, what, what do you like to eat with your Hunter Shiraz? Thinking, of say, steak, you know, lamb, something like that. Give us some inspiration. What does he say? Peking frickin' duck. Yeah, it's uh, more <laughs> of a Pinot kind of burgundy thing for me. Yeah, but you know. Acidity. You've got... High acid, you've got medium bodied, delight bodied red. That kind of earthy, gamey kind of. Bit of funky. Funky. <laughs> but you know, we thought that's a good match, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I love Peking Duck pancakes, so. So do I. Um, and we found this hatchery called La Corba Hatchery. Mm. They um, advertise high performance poultry. Very quick, apparently. <laughs> so not quick enough. <laughs> this is a Peking Duck. Already cooked. What should we call him? A uh, hooky, after the hooky. first one. <laughs> We should call him Hickey. Hooky. <laughs> I've eaten it a thousand times, but I've never made it, so um, hopefully it'll work out. But all we do is you just want a nice thin sliver of this uh, breast meat with heaps of the skin and just a little bit of the meat. Just like that. Mm. We're just going to fry that up, just get it nice and crispy. Pop it in a little pancake. Now, we're cheating. We're, um, we're just using the packet stuff. You can get them from supermarkets. You can make them yourself, but we're camping and... <laughs> and loot. So they... Just go into our little steamer. Ooh, yum. Awesome. They should be right. And then um, and a little bit of, well, I've got a leek. Now, no, I've always had it with um, like spring uh, onion yeah, spring or even onion cucumber. Me. Yeah, a little but, bit. But yeah. um, apparently, traditional in China was or is finely shredded leek. And I thought, let's get a leek. Let's give it a crack. Go traditional. And then the secret ingredient. I love this stuff. Hoisin sauce. Oh, sweet. Now, it's, it yeah. is. It's like a syrupy sesame paste. And it's just stunning. Dollop of that, and that's you got your pancake. So I'll get cracky on these. What have you got? All right. Firstly, David Hook's The Gorge Shiraz. Now, this is a sub $20 uh, wine. David Hook actually spent about 20 years uh, doing winemaking with Tyrrells and um, Tyrrells Lakes again. Folly. Yeah. Tyrrell seems to be like the rite of passage for winemakers in The Hunter. Give it a crack. Absolutely. Mate, this duck is well, looking really good. It's going to um, pop those in the fryer. Nice. They're good. All right, and well, they won't need long. Beautiful. I'm getting a little bit of that funkiness. Oh, you're shit. Oh, I'm getting, oh shit. Oh <laughs> God. That's all right, the duck is. Crispy fried duck. Absolutely doesn't need much at all, but perfect, look at that. Yeah, when I say funky, I'm Needs thinking like pepper. that kind of wet earth, like slightly wet, damp earth, but. Um, don't get it. Hunter boy. I don't get it. I get earthy, I get some nice red fruits, like red currants and plum. Yeah, it's definitely got lots of plum and uh, spices and... You can tell it's medium body. It's not at all... Even lighter medium it, yeah. body. And it's, um, the funkiness isn't on the palate, so that's great. I reckon it's more like a Pinot than a Shiraz, though. Yeah. All right. All right, second one. The Charlie. The Charlie. Julius, Charlie, 2007 Shiraz. We're really lucky to get hold of some of this. Uh, we got the last 10 cases. There's no more left, people, so um, I'm extremely excited about that. 25 bucks? Yeah. Which um, we thought was... Beautiful. You know that? <laughs> I've got crazy hands. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Um, all right. Look at the colour of that. It's yeah, beautiful, yeah. ruby purple. The intensity of fruits just bing. Oh, I get <sighs> you know that beautiful blood plum. Exactly of what you're saying. Blood, blood plum, plum, that yep. rich stuff that just drips, and that's what it looks like too. It's got that in the colour. Oh, and that beautiful caramel. Jeez, <laughs> <There you go. laughs> we hardly ever. No, <laughs> absolutely caramelly, vanilla. Oh shit, that's Ooh, beautiful. That's beautiful. That beautiful <laughs> oak on, on the palate. The oak's a little bit strong on the palate, but the fruit intensity is there to kind of match it. Concentration's fantastic. Length. That, that one, um, I think, Best Shiraz at the 08 Hunter Wine Show. Did it? Beautiful. Stunning wine. Now, third one. Ah. Thomas, Kiss Shiraz. Now, Kiss Shiraz. $60 bottle of wine. And he calls it Kiss Shiraz. Yeah, that's hilarious. just Tomo. That's I just love perfect. Tomo. That's a great guy. Hey, but listen, these are just about ready. Why yep. don't, I'll make some up. Yep. Why don't you. Decant that. Yep. 
just because decanting just lets the wine open out a bit and yeah, yeah. breathe, and I reckon that deserves it. Done. I'll make some I wheeze. know why you're sending me back there. <laughs> <laughs> Justin's got a little something to say to the good people of South Australia yeah. and the good winemakers of South Australia. It pains me to do this, people, but come with me. All right. So while Justin's in there uh, admitting that he found a good hunter Shiraz, I'm just going to uh, make some of these pancakes. So all we're going to do is cut up the leek nice and fine. Beautiful. Whew. So, just take one pancake, pop it down, grab a piece of duck, put it in the middle, bit of the hoisin sauce, beautiful, little bit of leek, pop him on there, fold it up, and you've got yourself a Peking duck pancake. Beautiful. Oh. Check this out. There you go. That is Quaff TV style. What a presentation. Thanks, mate. Do you like the leak? I thought it was a nice touch. <laughs> Alrighty. So. Oh. <laughs> what do you like? Yeah. I really can't speak. No, that's beautiful. Fascinating TV. Bit less um, bit less hoisin. Yeah, on. I think that the um, yeah, you can definitely notice the hoisin. It's probably gonna right. overpower the Shiraz. Thomas Kiss Shiraz. Right now. Mm. Wow, it's got a really, really classy nose. What a purpley colour. Ooh. It's amazing purple. You don't get that. You get that out of only a really young Shiraz from South Australia. So they must hold their colour really well. Oh, that's smoking. That's really beautiful. It's got um. Great fruit intensity and plenty of lovely French oak. Best money can buy, apparently. Um, what a great one. Duck. Yeah, the nose, it starts to, it's that another league again, it starts to get that dark, chocolatey, caramelly, bacony, mm. like all that stuff. And it's still got the earthiness and the, the plummy, dark cherries that, that um, we found in the other couple of wines. Yeah, yeah. Well, certainly in the Diolius, but this, um, Oh wow. It explodes again, it explodes in your mouth. Great length. Great it's, fruit. Great if we can acid. say yeah, look I, I thought the I thought the duck it would go beautifully with duck. The acid is fantastic. And um What's that whole it's that whole Italian wine uh, food thing. Yeah, isn't it? Isn't yeah. it what? Sort of that more kind of got more acid, medium bodied. It's absolutely what a right. Discovery. Food wine. Mm. There you go. If you're wondering where to place Hunter Shiraz I reckon it's fantastic food wine. Yeah. So, Justin, yes. your discoveries. And look, mine too, to be honest. I've, I've not tasted <laughs> such good honey <laughs> Shiraz either. He's giving it to me, isn't he? Here we go. Uh, David Hook, The Gorge Shiraz, 2007. 16 bucks. Bargain. Great entry-level wine. Well worth an, well worth a try. Absolutely. Lighter body. Uh, red fruits. Yep. A bit of plum. Yep. Yep. Spicy. Peppery. Heaps of pepper. Not much oak. Really nice. Beautiful, smooth Great wine. Great step up as well. Deulius Charlie 2007 Shiraz. Great step up in intensity and um, concentration of fruit and oak and some oak starting to play. Oh, the caramels coming yeah. in, um, caramel. but again the earthy and the peppery, but a bit of that blood plum that I got. Very, very good. And then the champion then, of the day, okay. Kiss Shiraz. Kiss Shiraz. This Not is a cheap. Bogo one. Not 60 yeah. bucks, yeah. but worth it. But worth it because it's one of the finest examples of the modern Shiraz in the Hunter Valley. Lovely, intense, dark cherries, yeah. um, caramel chocolate, Blackberries. beautiful. Hunter Shiraz, there you go. There All right. you go. Um, we're going to get stuck into the food. We're going to drink a bit more of the Kiss Shiraz. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. I hope you've learned a bit about Hunter Shiraz as well. I certainly have. Give them a go. Great food wines, we reckon. Um, that's it. Next time we see you, we'll be in search of the one Cabernet, I reckon, that this region does. And it's quite hard special, to get, actually. What a special wine it is. We're going to see if we can find it. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Cheers. Yeah, we can go.